The reason why 6 9 is going to go to Chicago and come back unscathed because Chicago, as you can see, is divided. In Chicago, the only thing they good for is to kill Chicago niggas. Chicago niggas don't kill Atlanta niggas. Chicago niggas don't kill New York niggas. Chicago niggas don't kill LA niggas. Chicago niggas kill niggas from different streets in Chicago. I am A.O. Conseco, and this is Are You Serious? If I can for one second, I just want to grab y'all attention and, and let y'all know why exactly 6 9 is not only going to go to Chicago, but he's going to leave there unscathed. When you're in jail, understand this, when you're in jail and shit, it's thousands of motherfuckers in there. Like, and you know it's thousands of motherfuckers in that shit. If you if you're a trustee, you know it's a lot of motherfuckers in the jail because you gotta wash the clothes. You know what I'm saying? You gotta cook the food and you know like this shit. God damn, there's a lot of niggas in this bitch. But they keep it cordoned off by 30 people, inmates in each block, whatever like that. And you cordon off, cordon off. They keep it all split up, whatever. And you have to understand that the reason why they keep niggas split the fuck up. It's so that you all can't get on the same accord. It, so if one block book, you know what I'm saying, they go to that one block handling the situation. Now, if the whole institution was to get on the same accord, then all of them can book. And there's no way you can beat it because ain't enough COs there. I believe that this system is exactly why we in a situation that we in. Um, social media was made so they can make the world smaller. And for a dominant society, it's done that. But for us, it would seem as if, if it, it's pushed us further away from each other. If it's not because the bitch that's it, the, the fat ugly bitch or, or the fat average bitch that's in your city, whatever like that, that a nigga don't pay no attention to, she get online, put her makeup on, and she get a thousand niggas just, oh man, this hoe so bad. And she don't wanna be around you niggas no more because now she get to feel exactly how she wanna feel without even fucking with you niggas. So it ain't really no inspiration for her to go out and actually do what she need to do and really get fine because she can fool niggas and catfish niggas all day long. It's the same thing that happened with the, uh, the rappers that we have and the niggas that we have in general. Now, a nigga don't gotta be, uh, uh, why be in the mirror? Uh, 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 Lil Xan, Lil Pump, Lil Skies, uh, the fucking Trippy Red, 6'9". Oh my God. But what they've also made prominent amongst us with this social media shit is, Controversy is the only thing that's gonna get you to the forefront. I believe that they lied when they said that controversy sales because Adele didn't have to do that. What's your nigga name? Robin Thick. Them motherfuckers didn't have to beef. It wasn't no, no I'm saying like they did real deal fuck Maroon 5. They didn't have to beef with no fucking body. But in order for us to get, to even break even out of the bullshit deal that they give us, we have to tell a nigga we gonna murder him as soon as we see him. Or we don't got nothing going on. In order to actually come up in this shit, you have to be fuck this nigga. Like you have to do it. Your music gotta say I kill this nigga. You not gonna, Period, point blank, you're not gonna come up in this music saying, having a positive message. You give me an artist who has, has been, you know what I'm saying? Making a positive fucking message. We can say Kendrick Lamar. We can say J. Cole. But is that what the music, you know what I'm saying? Is that what it say for real? And if, let's say, let's give it to them. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, they did it. Name somebody else. How many rappers do we have? 
and it's two fucking rappers that have a positive message that has actually got to a plateau where they can make money. Everybody else, the majority of rappers, you gotta kill niggas. You gotta go to jail. You gotta go to jail. You gotta go to fucking jail. How many niggas have had to go to jail after receiving their blessing, after getting money and fame? How is that? Why does a nigga constantly have to defend what he has? Why, why do we have that mentality? When you don't have shit, nobody fucks with you. Soon as you get a little bit of something that you've worked for, everybody wanna take it. You have to guard that shit with your life and let's work. If somebody says they gonna take it and you don't say you gonna kill them, people will stop giving it to you. You'll lose everything. We got a situation right now with your homeboy Pablo Warren or whatever the fuck big home name is. He just got robbed for his chain out there. I'm gonna talk about that, I ain't gonna talk about that here. Cause, I, 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 Cause that's a whole nother video. I'm gonna tell you about niggas. The reason why 6 9 is gonna go to Chicago and come back unscathed is because Chicago, as you can see, is divided. In Chicago, the only thing they good for is to kill Chicago niggas. Chicago niggas don't kill Atlanta niggas. Chicago niggas don't kill New York niggas. Chicago niggas don't kill LA niggas. Chicago niggas kill niggas from different streets in Chicago. How in the fuck is Chicago niggas gonna come together and have one fucking mission to kill this nigga? What's gonna happen is it's gonna be a whole lot of distraction, a whole lot of static, and a nigga who knows what he doing, between the mind of Shotty and 6 9 they gonna find a way to swivel in because they, they're already putting holes in niggas' defenses. Rico Reckless, FBG Duck, Lil Dirk, Chief Keep, Tato, you got all these niggas, you know what I'm saying, from different sides saying we gonna protect them. This the whole thing. If you can pay a nigga, if you can give a nigga, because niggas don't want that money. Like, niggas just want the clout. These niggas smile so fucking big when they get on live with 6 9 You see how big these niggas smile? Boy, boy, I swear to God, real talk, boy, hell yeah. They smile like they just seen a white man. Smile like they seen a fucking white man. Because 6 9 I don't I don't wanna start no bullshit, y'all. I don't wanna start no bullshit. I don't wanna start no bullshit. Why why but I I'm asking why why everybody being so fucking polite to the light skinned nigga? I don't no no no. You can say ah oh, niggas going at him and shit like that, but it's always a nigga who fucking with him though. Oh my god. And these motherfuckers smile from ear to ear. Knowing goddamn well that the new death row, which is Treyway, has motherfucking CIs all in it. You motherfuckers have police protection. And this is another reason why you're going to go out there and there won't be no fucking problem. And you niggas in Chicago need to understand, if you fuck with that goddamn boy, you going to jail. You're not going to get away with it. These niggas got motherfucking citrus on the roof, all kind of shit. Don't fucking believe for a motherfucking second. These niggas ain't sending somebody out there home right now to peep the goddamn scene. Every place he going to go is already being looked at to see where to go, what's going on. They don't need you, FBG, Doug. They don't need no motherfucking Rico Reckless or no Dirk. They got Chicago PD. This is a whole motherfucking agenda. It's a whole lot of shit going on until we say we see this shit. And I'm going to tell you, the next nigga that beef with Takashi 69 online is doing it strictly for motherfucking clout, period, point blank. Because if you want to do something to 69, you got to do it. Because what he's doing is, when he get online and say that he beefing with you, he putting TMZ on you, academics on you, and everybody else know that y'all beefing, which means you're not going to beat no case if anything happens. See, niggas got a new form of snitching now. It ain't about, I'm making a police report, I gotta call the police. No, we know the police watching the internet, so let me scream on the internet. Fuck nigga, I'ma kill your whole ass nigga when I see you. I'm beefing with Chief Keith. Fuck Chief Keith. Nigga, Chief Keith, Chief Keith, Chief Keith. You motherfuckers act like you ain't on that many drugs, my nigga. You know, you didn't seen enough cases where they ain't use niggas Instagram, Facebook, and goddamn music to convict niggas. This go back to the same thing I said about 
going to jail after you receive your blessing that you done worked so hard for. So now your blessing become a curse. If you want to keep your money in your pocket, do not beef with 6 9 Without beef, he becomes no one. His music won't stand on its own. Stop playing with him. Stop calling him a clown at this point. At this point, anybody who publicly beefs with 6 9 is a fucking clown. We know that he's the police. We know that Treyway has informants inside of it. We know what he does. Fake blood, all this shit like that. We know that the, the one trick pony is over with. He he disrespect niggas and he go with they city and nothing happened to him. All good. Let this police ass nigga dry rot. Let it let cause it's not gonna work for you. You niggas already can't mobilize and do shit because some kind of way. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna get on the game shit. I'm not gonna get on the game shit. But I don't understand how all y'all niggas is one game. But y'all can't come together on shit. Everybody just wild. Ain't no motherfucking organization. Why do you niggas talk so goddamn much? Why do all you niggas have a motherfucking Instagram live video? Niggas that don't even rap. You think this a coincidence? That motherfucker, all of a sudden, y'all just so hot. My nigga, you don't think that maybe the crime rate made the, the police officers think... Man, we need to find a way to goddamn get these niggas before the shit happen or do some preemptive, you know what I'm saying, policing. I know, instead of having to ID these niggas, whatever like that, let's just put cameras in front of their stupid ass. Give them a goddamn, hey, some anonymous, some anonymous goddamn page with no goddamn face, some anonymous page with no face, just all by itself upload every goddamn thing these niggas say on their Instagram. Some anonymous goddamn page with no fucking face on it upload all of these niggas shit from their Instagram live account. And all of this shit is public knowledge. Stuck there. So even if you delete it off your Instagram, that shit is right there on YouTube for a nigga to go back and trace every step of the goddamn beat. Where you was at when you said it, what time it was. You niggas ain't that goddamn stupid. It ain't that many motherfucking drugs in the world. But see, niggas so fucked up, niggas so goddamn thirsty for attention, that just as soon as somebody make them feel just a little bit important, they turn to bitches, like hoes. A hoe get a blonde wig and feel like she the baddest bitch ever. This hoe weigh 300 pounds on the top. This hoe weigh 300 pounds on the top, like this. Punch a nigga. But she get a blind wig, uh. She now she start putting makeup on. What happened? Motherfucker upload your goddamn live. Now goddamn you you start getting you a chain. Now goddamn you wanna start trying to do your live from a different spot. Hold your camera a different way. The fuck is wrong with you niggas? No, better yet, nigga put you on live. Now you talking even more reckless. Nigga put you on live. Now you talk even more reckless. Look where I'm at, nigga. Everybody see where I'm at, nigga. Yeah, nigga, really out here. Social media is the new Tuskegee experiment. Do your goddamn research on the Tuskegee experiment. I said this shit once before. They gave niggas social media so they can kill themselves. Destroy families. They have put so many goddamn obstacles in front of the goddamn black man. And they're invisible. They're invisible. This is why they, my nigga, this is from birth. From birth. The whole world is to get you from birth. They take, from birth, they take the man out your life. From birth. They incentivize the woman, but before they do that, they make the woman less intelligent than the man because they grade the woman in school on a grading scale. I've said this before. The conspiracy of, in school, if every race which is Chinese, Mexican, Indian, white, black, boy and a girl. Take a test with 10 questions on it. Everybody in the whole room is five questions. Everybody get a 50, but the black girl. The black girl get a 70. Same test, everybody miss one question. Everybody get a 90, but the black girl. The black girl get 105. She now takes this test 
to the house and put it on the refrigerator. The whole family walks by this and no one says a goddamn thing about it. Nobody say, hold on. You missed a question. How, how did you get over 100? Because they just so proud that she made it. Why is that? Why are you proud? I'm not going to get into that. But from that point, it's like, okay, so she's going to be less intelligent, but she's more prone to get a job. So that means she's more prone to bring money in. And what do we do without, what do we do? We say money makes you responsible some kind of way. We know that ain't true though. We know it ain't true. Money makes you more responsible. Money makes you smarter. We know that's not fucking true, but that's what we believe. As soon as you make a nigga uncomfortable, what he do is bring his fucking money out. And that's another way they fuck y'all up because now all they gotta do is some kind of way from an unknown page make you feel uncomfortable and now you're gonna show all your money. Now they got a whole deal federal indictment and a federal indictment or investigation once it starts, you won't know it starts. Two year long, I'm not gonna go into that. My nigga, from birth, once they take your father away, once they make your mother not that intelligent, now you don't care about school that much. So I'm getting you indoctrinated, indoctrinated. You don't get that much attention, that much love because your mom ain't work all the time because she made that mistake, but she can't stop making that mistake because she's financially incentivized to keep that father away from home. And don't forget that the father has issues too. The father might be on drugs, father might have a cheating problem, might be a beater or something like that. But those are issues that every family has. But the white folks don't gotta live like that. White folks get, they, they get the balance. But as a, a, a black male, you only get that female. You don't got no balance. So attention feels good to you. So when you go on YouTube and you see your shit on YouTube, oh my God, oh. So now whatever it is they want, you don't give a fuck what it is. Dancing on a goddamn table or putting your motherfucking stolen gun that you didn't use in a real deal homicide on camera. Whatever gonna get you motherfucking views and likes, you'll do that shit. And you go to prison and you tell somebody that fucking snitched. I'm gone, y'all. I'm gone. Big Face Podcast. 6 9 ain't gonna get touched. I'll see y'all in a minute, dog.